Mercy. <laughs> Buemi has come to a halt. All out there of shape there. Oh, that's going to damage a car. When you are used to win three to six races per season and you arrive uh, halfway through the season only with three podiums, of course, it's, it's not bad, but it's not what we were used to. Buemi is in the pits. He needs uh, uh, some kind of miracle. I was thinking he's... miracle was the okay. word I was <laughs> yeah. thinking of. But we are very honest with ourselves, realistic. The championship is improving. It's getting tougher and tougher. We've been investing lots of resources into next year, a bit less into this year. So we, we have to expect that it's not always going to be easy, but we, we work hard to, to come back now for the second part of the season. So far, I've been three times on the podium, but no win. We had one pole. Uh, Hong Kong was a disaster in a way. We had a technical failure in the first race while running fourth. Bimmy shut down! In the second race, I did a mistake in qualifying, started last, finished tenth. Marrakesh was a good weekend. I had pole position, finished second. Without this small problem we've had on the fan boost, I think we could have won the race. But let's say a very positive one. Then Santiago again on the first row, third in the race. Good, 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 uh, good race again. And then in Mexico, you know, I was first in qualifying, but then in Super Bowl I did a mistake, but still finished third. Again, a very good one. And then, and then uh, Punta del Este, we really had the podium in the, in the bag without my mistake in the race, so I'm, I'm sorry for, for the team. Merde! But let's say, the good thing is that in Punta del Este, we, we were quick. We, we couldn't really show it, but from shakedown, FP1, FP2, we, we've been always quick. And somehow that makes me happy and, and positive for the rest of the season, because it, it seems like we, we've kind of improved the general pace and we, we were we were better there. Of course Jeff, you know, he's done a great season. He's been very lucky in some other places like spinning in Hong Kong but still getting pole position. He would have spun 50 meters earlier, he would not have been in the top five. His pole position in Punta del Este, he hit the wall but then everyone does get disqualified. But no, fair play, they, they've done an amazing job, you know, much better than us. And I give them lots of credit for that. And of course, then you have Felix, you have Sam, uh, you know, they're up there in the championship. And then you have Lucas and, and Daniel, they've done also very well, but been unlucky in, from the reliability side. To sum it up, let's say you've got many cars and many teams that can do well. And, and clearly it's now up to us to, to make sure we, we squeeze the most out of the package we have. The approach for Paris, of course, you know, it's our home race. We won last year, I had the podium finish in season two. It's the third year in a row we go to Paris. It's going to be the final year for Renault in Formula E and at home in Paris. So we, we are really motivated to, to do very well. You know, at the end of the day, when you've been winning the championship three years in a row as a team, you, it's difficult to, to aim for less. But somehow, sometimes you, you can't always win. So we, we try to regroup as a team. We try to focus on, on achieving the best we can till the end of the year, but, but of course, I have to say a bit disappointed with some of the races so far, but still we've, we've shown some, some good pace in some others. The championship, until it's, it's dead, it's not dead, you know, until you, you can uh, mathematically win it, you, you need to push till the end. We've seen crazy things in Formula E. I came in season one in, in London over 28 points behind Nelson and I lost by one point. So that basically highlights the fact that when it's still possible, it is possible, so you need to fight for every uh, everything, every point till the, the checkered flag. For weekly Formula E videos, click subscribe on the left hand side. To watch the next one, click the icon in the centre and remember to hit the like button and leave your comments down below.